What's up guys? Now it's time to show you how to jailbreak the iPad 2 with Absinthe. All you do is plug in your iPad 2 with your USB cable like that. Make sure it is connected to your computer. Once you have it plugged in, then head over to your desktop on your Mac and load up Absinthe. There it is. So double click on it. It should recognize the iPad 2. There it is. The 5.01 iPad 2 is detected. Click on jailbreak. It'll begin the jailbreak. Now this one I found was a little bit faster than the iPhone 4S and that's probably because I had a lot of stuff to back up on the 4S unlike the iPad 2. So now you should see the iPad 2. You should see that little circle icon in the upper left hand corner. You'll see restore and progress start and the restore is complete. As you can see it's much faster than my iPhone 4S because it didn't have much of anything on here at all. So now you'll see this screen here waiting for reboot, not done yet, do not unplug your device. Just keep your device plugged in and pretty much just sit back, cross your arms and wait as this thing continues in the jailbreak. You'll see the Apple logo, you'll see the little loading bar go across really quickly and you'll continue to see Absinthe look just like this. It'll say waiting for reboot, so just give it a few more seconds and eventually it'll proceed to the next step here. So we're just going to give it a few more seconds. And again, this is much different than previous jailbreaks like the jailbreak me jailbreak for instance. And it's also quite different from the traditional jailbreaks like red snow, snow breeze and things of that nature. There's no DFU mode that you need to enter into. You just hook up the device and you click jailbreak and literally it does its thing. So we'll wait a few more seconds here and there we go. It's connecting to device, waiting for the device to finish booting. And it shouldn't be much longer at all. Normally I would have sped this up, but it really wasn't long at all in the first place. So I figured, hey, just let it let it do its thing here. So I'd say at about 10 more seconds, we should be there sending the payload data. And here's where we're really starting to get down to crunch time and it's starting to finish the jailbreak. So let's head back over to our iPad and it should look like this. And eventually we will see the Absinthe logo on our iPad once the jailbreak is complete. There it is. You'll see a completed message on Absinthe. Then you'll see this little Absinthe icon. Just tap on that. Now, if you do get it establishing a database connection error, don't worry. There is a quick fix for that, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now, actually. Just head back over to your settings app right there and go to network, which should be under general right there. Tap on network. You should see VPN. Tap on VPN and turn on the VPN. No, obviously you're not using a VPN, but this is just a quick fix for this problem. So you can just go back to your home screen. Once you've turned that on, you'll get an error message more than likely. VPN connection error occurred. That's fine. Open up Absinthe app again. And then eventually it should go to a black screen and reboot. And then eventually you will see Cydia on your home screen as soon as the Apple logo finishes loading. So we'll give it a few more minutes there. A few more seconds actually. Shouldn't take long at all. You'll see another loading screen or another loading bar here. And once that loading bar is complete, then you will be back to your iPad 2 and you will be ready to use Cydia. And this loading bar goes across really quickly, as you see. Now we should be back to our home screen. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock our device. And once our device is unlocked, guess what we'll find there? Yes, indeed. Guess what we'll find? Let's scroll over or swipe over to the next page. There is Cydia, folks. Load up Cydia. It'll prepare file system, all that jazz. And once it's completed with that, all you do is unlock again, go back to Cydia, and then you can start using it. User, hacker, developer. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, folks. Was that easy or what? Your iPad 2 running iOS 5.0.1 is finally jailbroken. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.